we're at Gyeongbokgung Station and there's literally nobody. It's crazy how this is a very populous city and it, it can get so busy, but we're in a relatively busy part, but it may be because it's Monday even so. It was, it's been very busy in other major cities like Tokyo and Osaka and New York City and LA during the week. So you notice that there's not a single person in sight, which is kind of nice, <laughs> but I can hear a lot of people outside right now. Yeah, I was gonna say, the, the, the castle might be packed, but the subways were actually nice. We got to sit down. <laughs> yeah, it's also nice, it seems like they heat the seats. And here's the entrance to Gyeokbokgung Palace that we're gonna explore, also from the Chosun Dynasty. So I'm really liking these palaces. This side of this hall is under reconstruction because apparently it was materials were taken apart for the reconstruction of Changdeokgung Palace when that one was ravaged by fire. So yeah, it's so new. So that's why the wood looks really fresh. It's actually really beautiful like this though too. It is totally different style than the other buildings on the palace grounds because it was built by or worked on by a Russian architect to bring an Eastern style to the Chosun Dynasty palaces. So it has more brick and the colors from before are not there. It also looks like some of the materials for the roof are different yeah, it looks on like the top. And stuff instead of more round. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, that's true. Hello. We just finished our palace walking around tour thing. We didn't take a tour, we just walked around. And I think we're at the Folk Museum. It looks beautiful. at this Michelin restaurant. We didn't know it was Michelin. We, just it. <laughs> to it. we were just looking for something nearby. I think later on we're gonna have dakgambi or barbecue. But we're super hungry and it's almost one o'clock. We forgot to eat breakfast. Actually, I forgot to eat breakfast. I was eating. She, she didn't. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll get something at a cafe. And then we just like... We found a little uh, coffee place and never got food. We just went straight to the palace. Yeah, and then as soon as we walked in, we were like, Oh, we didn't even eat anything. Not even snacks. I mean, unless you have those gummies as snacks that you ate. I was hungry. That's what we had. <laughs> so we'll show you the food and everything else as soon as we get seated. They told us just another few minutes. It smells good in here. And yeah, there's Peter's. Yeah, I'm like, boom. <laughs>
a paint splattered Bentley. Crazy. I think we are in in the arty part of town. There are a lot of galleries and exhibit collections here. What's she eating there? The giant ice cream macaroon. Yeah, we went to this little place. It was calling my name. We were gonna get that mozzarella thing originally. Twisted monkey bread. But, got ice cream. I got a chocolate one. It looks very delicious. We are at Guangaman Square. I think that's how you say it. It's kind of in the middle of the city. And it's just a like little tourist area where I guess you can walk all the way down. It feels weird like we're standing in an intersection because on that side is traffic. And on this side's traffic. And back that way is the palace. Oh, it looks like there's some type of government building over here too. Yeah, I think there is. I can't remember what it said on the map though. So we're just gonna walk down and check it out. And there's something over there too that looks like a bounce house. So that's probably not a bounce house, but even if it was, we could go on it. That'd be very strange, right? Strange things in the neighborhood. So we'll check in in a little bit. Good evening, guys. It is about 9 p.m. and we just got to Yongdong Station. We are going to Yongdong Market. Market. It was open till midnight. We had taken a two hour nap and now we're ready to go. We're still a little tired. I don't think Austin's awake yet. Are you okay back there? <laughs> Check in. You like it? Yeah. It is a bunch of seafood fish cakes with shrimp in them. Covered in what tastes like it tastes like pear sauce. Good shrimp with uh, coating on it. Yeah. Got some big dumpling looking things that were being sold by a lady that had a tteokbokki and a few other things. Mostly it looked like these were popular, so I got these. Still eating this thing, and then there's tons of food in front of us, so we're gonna check it out after this. Look at those big chicken. It's hot and juicy. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> see the smoke coming out of it. <laughs> what do you think? Good, right? Very tender. Yeah, it's got a glaze on it. It's kind of sweet and then the chicken's soft and chewy and crispy on the edge. Look at this. It is just a stick of cheese basically. And looks like it has like potato. Oops, there we go. Potato on the outside. Want to try it first? Yeah. Okay, Allison's going to buy into our big mozzarella cheese stick thing that we got. Oh my god, it is just cheese. <laughs> cheese with a milk sauce. It smells really good. I think there are rice cakes in between the cheese too. We have a Hershey's chocolate pancake. This time Austin gets to eat first. I ate the last one first. 
Is it very good? Sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Candy. We got it from that red stall over there. There's a banana Nutella crepe. It looks tasty inside. It, it looks like a waffle. Good. It's just very sweet. So we also got a few goods. Actually, I got a few goods. Austin didn't buy anything at this one. We did buy some stuff. Not really some stuff, just a souvenir for someone else. And both of us actually did. Um, and that was it so far. Because I love strawberry. Strawberry Oreos. I gotta show you the cool side. But it's also in English on this side. Um, I don't remember seeing these in the US. This is a very basic flavor, so I'm sure that they have them though because I extra love strawberry clothes, strawberry socks. We had so many socks there and all of them went thousand hand. You know, I tried to convince Austin to get some ruffle socks, but he wasn't feeling it. <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> we got a watermelon pen for my mom because she collects crazy pens. Two face masks, my juicy bottle mask. There we go. I'm just kidding, <laughs> my juicy bottle mask. And this v -Lot, the Real Hyaluronic Acid Sheet Mask. It came with two, so that's cool. And they were a thousand. I hope I didn't say yen. I feel like I said yen again. Wan. If I said yen, sorry, I meant wan. And this hair clip, because I love hair accessories. And then tomorrow, we're probably going to go check out the other markets. Hopefully, they have more food. Um, but yeah, we're excited for tteokbokki because we had some today, well not technically the regular one today, we had rice cakes on a stick with cheese and that was bomb.com in the words of Austin. <laughs> <laughs>